Hey there people! So today I am bringing you my Terraria 1.4 luck guide including torches, the torch god, the luck potion buff effect, gnomes, ladybugs, and more. The luck statistic is a new mechanic that has been added to the game with a 1.4 update. This affects drop rate chances and other things in addition to the usual random chance. There are various things that can impact or affect your luck modifier, uh, ways to get luck. And I will be covering all the known factors, which uh, in addition to the ones I listed also includes Lantern Knights as well. So I will be including the impact of each factor and how to get them or when they happen. I will add timestamps in the description so that you can skip to anything that you might need. As far as what is affected by luck, well... There's a long list. Um, this is a little bit of shot from the wiki there. So I will link to the wiki in the description if you need uh, more specifics. It's all in there. But some of the major items that are affected by luck are luck. Sorry, are the material drop rates, rare item drops, fishing power, rare traveling merchant items, coin portals from pots, golden critters, bound NPC appearances, rare enemies, damage calculations, and obviously lots more. So the maximum luck possible is uh, 1.0, which boosts most chances of most things that are affected by luck, luck by roughly 50%. The effective worst total penalty you can get though is only negative 0.4 luck value, uh, which decreases chances by only about 10 to 12%. Uh, so it's easier to get good luck than bad in the game at this point. If I've done the math correctly, uh, the calculation is actually a bit more complicated than just that. Uh, but it's worth noting that there is no way to know your actual luck value, the modifier that um, determines those calculations. You can talk to the wizard. Normally, of course, you'll only have the wizard in hard mode. Uh, but if you have the wizard, he will hint at your level of luck. He'll basically sometimes, when you talk to him, give you slightly vague comments about whether things are going well for you. And that is an indication of your luck in the game. Uh, so... Factors that affect luck. First of all, let's talk about biome torches. They've kind of become the most famous. So uh, using the correct torch type for the current biome gives you a torch luck bonus up to a positive of plus 0.2 on your modifier. That again goes up to 1.0 at the highest. Using any of the wrong type of torches subtracts from that bonus. So uh, that's something important to keep in mind. However, um, you could say that you're rewarded for using the special torch types that match the ambience for the biome that you are in. Originally, it was actually possible to get a luck penalty from using the wrong torches in early versions after 1.4 was released, but that has actually been patched out. It's been removed. So at this point, the worst you can do from torches is now to have no bonus at all. So zero, no bonus. Uh, basically, you're gonna have a positive or nothing at all. Um, it's worth noting as well that this statistic, torch luck, appears to only apply underground. It apparently does not apply if you're on the surface layer or up in space. It also does not apply in the dungeon or in the jungle temple. So keep that in mind. Um, these are the biomes in their underground and cavern form. Torch types uh, do apply for underground and cavern layers of very special biomes as laid out in my little uh, spreadsheets sort of chart thing there. Uh, ice torches are used for the snow biome. Desert torches are used in the desert. Jungle torches are used in the jungle. Hallow in the hallow. Corruption. Corrupt torches in the corruption. Crimson in the crimson. Obviously enough, it all matches up, right? Um, also worth noting there, you'll notice that cursed torches do give you the same bonus in the corruption as corrupt torches, but they don't have the penalties if you place them out elsewhere. And the same for uh, ichor torches in the crimson versus elsewhere. Also worth noting that coral to torches give you a bonus in the ocean depths when you're deep down in the ocean, but they do not affect luck in water elsewhere. If you place them in water, they will not be a penalty to your luck, but they do give a negative uh, penalty to your torch luck in areas that are below the surface and outside of water. So if you place them outside of water and it's not the ocean biome uh, and it's below the surface because it doesn't count above the surface, then they will give you a penalty. <laughs> it's a 
a little bit specific there, but laid out on the chart. And uh, other colored torches, in case you were wondering, such as gem torches and ultra bright, bright torches, those do not affect luck. And again, um, best you can do is a bonus of plus 0.2 out of one maximum luck bonus. Uh, worst for torches is now zero. But that all being said, uh, another little thing they sort of did to sort of appease the outrage at the initial luck um, penalty that could be earned in the early versions is they invented the Torch God. <laughs> so the Torch God is kind of a new little mini event that was added in 1.4.0.5. And basically, uh, it, it, it's not exactly a boss. It involves placing 100 or more torches uh, in an area underground which will then fire themselves at you. Uh, this has to be done underground at least 200 tiles below the surface layer, as in 200 tiles below zero depth. And as those fire at you, you will need to dodge them to complete the event. Completing the event gives you a consumable item called the Torch God's Favor, which is a one-time use only item. After using it, you will gain automatic biome torch placement by just uh, using regular torches in your inventory and as they are placed, if it's enabled, it will automatically substitute those for the right type of torch for the biome that you're in. So it kind of makes the whole thing easier for you. <laughs> so I will show you the Torch God event, the item and how it works at the end of this video, but let's continue on talking about other factors that affect luck. So gnomes. Uh, gnomes are a new small fast enemy in the game but if you lead them above ground into daylight during the day they will become petrified and become a garden gnome which is a placeable item that grants luck they spawn around natural dirt walls around the border between the surface and the underground and most commonly they spawn by natural living tree walls so the giant living trees the living wood trees that's actually your best bet for finding gnomes. Uh, I also did find that placing a or, or using a water, uh, sorry, using a battle potion or uh, placing a water candle while exploring under one of those giant living trees um, is a great way of finding them. I found like five in a few minutes <laughs> by using a battle potion and just running around under the uh, giant trees. Of course, there's a little network of tunnels that automatically generates under them now. So if you are within the area of a placed garden gnome, you will gain a flat positive 0.2 luck bonus for that luck factor. Um, so you may want to consider including a garden gnome in any farm builds that you're making and even in any arena builds uh, for bosses and other fights as well, um, along with the appropriate torches if you're farming or fighting underground. Uh, luck does affect many drops. It doesn't affect all boss drops, but it does also affect damage calculations. So even um, if it is a boss fight where you might not get better drops by having a better luck factor, you still might do more damage by improving your luck. So uh, next thing, luck potions. So luck potions provide the lucky buff. It's the only one that will actually give you a visu visual uh, indicator that you have a luck factor active. Uh, otherwise, all this stuff is like secret. <laughs> there are no statistics that will show anywhere other than talking to the wizard. But the luck potions do give you the lucky buff and there are different levels of luck boost based on the time left on the potion. So there are three levels of boost. You can get a positive 0.3 luck is the highest if you have over five minutes left on a luck potion you can have a positive 0.2 if you have over three minutes left and less than five on your luck potion and you get a positive 0.1 luck factor for uh, anything less than three minutes left and this happens to coincide with the duration of the actual potions so a lesser luck potion only grants you three minutes which means you will only get the 0.1 for the duration of that a regular luck potion grants you five minutes which means you'll get a couple minutes at 0.2 and then it'll uh, go down to 0.1 after uh, for the last three minutes and a greater luck potion grants you 10 minutes of the lucky buff which will give you the 0.3 maximum boost for the first five minutes and then fall down from there. Luck potions are crafted from a bottle of water, one ladybug, and a water leaf. 
uh, along with any of the three types of pearls. So pearls are obtained by fishing in the desert. It can be either a natural oasis or an artificial desert fishing hole. My world uh, that I'm currently in didn't happen to generate an oasis so i actually made my own desert fishing hole a meteor happened to fall in the desert so i just dug out the meteor uh, smoothed out the bottom and filled it with water using buckets so you can craft of course buckets from lead or iron bars uh, you will need a lot of them uh, or you're gonna have to make a lot of trips because you want at least 300 blocks of water to maximize your fishing power uh, so you can actually make stacks of up to 99 buckets and you can fill up to 99 at a time in a single stack. So that's what I did. Anyway, as far as um, those pearls, you will get them in the oysters. So I did go fishing for some oysters. I got seven of them and basically, oh wow, I got really lucky actually having only seven. I got a pink um, pearl. That's incredible because those are actually extremely rare. Uh, so basically I've got all three types and as you can see white pearls are in fact the most common you use white pearls along with uh, these three ingredients to make the lesser luck potion you use black pearls with those ingredients to make the regular and pink for the greater so I will just quickly go over to my uh, little house just to show you those recipes and here we go so again, bottled water, water leaf, ladybug, and the type of pearl that you uh, have <laughs> or that you want to use. So yeah, I can even craft a greater luck potion, which is amazing. Um, those pink pearls are particularly rare. So in other news, uh, we're going to move on next to ladybugs. So uh, touching a naturally spawned uncaptured ladybug will give you good ladybug luck it doesn't count if you catch and release a ladybug it has to be a naturally spawning ladybug it's 12 minutes at positive 0.2 luck bonus for normal ladybugs and that is doubled to 24 minutes at positive 0.4 luck for golden ladybugs of course that's going to be extremely rare conversely killing a ladybug gives you bad ladybug luck this includes using ladybugs for fishing. Using them for fishing counts as killing them. So although ladybugs do have a bait value, they will give you bad luck if used as bait. So do not use them as bait. <laughs> bad ladybug luck lasts three minutes at negative 0.2 for normal ladybugs and six minutes at negative 0.4 for golden ladybugs and that's actually the maximum luck penalty that you can get at this point in the game there is also an increased chance of rain for 30 seconds after killing a ladybug uh, killing the guide interestingly will also give good ladybug luck for four minutes you notice the durations are lower for the penalties as well as the npc stuff uh, killing any other town npcs other than the clothier or the guide gives bad ladybug luck but only for one minute uh, so like luck potions, uh, the effect of ladybug luck apparently also reduces as the time runs down. So that's uh, something to keep in mind as well. And so the last luck factor that I want to talk about in this guide video is lantern nights. So lantern nights occur after defeating a boss or event. Orange lanterns, as you can see, will float up into the sky, uh, I guess like Chinese lanterns. Um, so, on such lantern nights, after defeating a boss or an event, you will be granted a flat 0.5 positive luck bonus anywhere in the world, not just the surface, not just the underground, anywhere that you might be in the world for that whole night, you get a 0.5 luck bonus, which is the biggest single luck bonus that you can get. So, uh, basically to sum up all of the factors that go into luck in your game, realistically, it's reasonable to be able to get positive 2 luck from torches, uh, plus, uh, that's 0 0.2 from torches, plus 0 0.2 from a garden gnome being placed nearby, uh, plus 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 from luck potions uh, normally because it's going to be hard to get the pink ones, the greater luck potions. Um... And so that all kind of adds up to positive 0.6 at best under normal circumstances. If you're extra lucky, you might 
touch a naturally occurring ladybug, but that's not reliable. They're um, not always around. So uh, otherwise, you're probably only going to be able to reach the maximum of positive 0.1 luck on a lantern night such as this one. At least though, since they removed the luck uh, penalty from using the wrong torches, as long as you're not a ladybug serial killer, you're not likely to be hurt by the new luck system at this point. You're much more likely to get a bonus than a penalty. So, uh, without further ado, I've set up a little spot here to do the Torch God event and show you the uh, Torch um, God's Favor item. I guess maybe, did I turn the, the slider up here? Yes, I'm, I'm doing this in journey mode just for the sake of, uh, and I turned that down, but uh, just for the sake of being able to do the video, I put it in journey mode and now all these enemies are kind of ruining my party. So uh, let's put this back up though. <laughs> Turned that down so I could quickly kill a boss so I could get a Lantern Knight. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay. Torch God event and the Torch God favor item. So, uh, as you can see, I've set up my arena and I've now zoomed out so that I can see better. Uh, this is 25 torches across here, so that's why I have four little rows. Uh, this was my idea of how to set up an arena for this event. Interestingly, uh, testing it out earlier, I noticed that sometimes you have to go a little over 100 torches, so that's just something uh, to keep in mind as well. Uh, but again, the Torch God's favor item is going to automatically place the appropriate torches for the biome you're in. I might want to see, that that's exactly 100 torches and you notice it did not start. So while I'm here, <laughs> I'll uh, kill a couple of these guys and that's after turning it down. Oh, there we go. It just took a while. Interesting. Okay, so that explains that because last time I just, you know, I was testing it out. I just placed a few extra until it started. <laughs> I guess it takes a little bit. So as you can see, the torches literally, they just fire out at you. And this is a pretty easy way of doing it, actually. Just uh, put them in the middle and dodge around them. A lot of people that I've seen have done the opposite. I think firing into an enclosed space and being restricted in where you can move, uh, maybe not such a good idea. This was my idea for an arena, and it seems to work great. <laughs> There you, go. there you go, and you notice other torches that happen to be nearby will fire out as well. And there we go, I got the Torch God's Favor uh, item. The torches light back up after the event is over. You can only do this once at least um, until you consume the item. You can go hide this in a chest and do the event again and get another one of these, but there's not really any benefit to that. So, if I use that, you'll see it's gone, done. Uh, but what I've gained here is a little toggle biome torch swap which is on by default you can turn it off uh, but you'll notice now when i place torches if i place them here this is just a regular it's not one of the special biomes it'll still place regular torches but i have just regular torches in my inventory if i go up here it gets into the crimson zone and i'll start placing crimson torches automatically i'm consuming regular torches and i'm placing Crimson torches, and it's the same thing wherever I go. Um, if I beam over to the snow biome, I'll be placing, uh, oops, <laughs> I will be placing uh, ice torches. And if I beam over to the desert, I'll be placing desert torches, and it just takes care of that automatically. So all you need to do is. Um, craft regular torches and it will take care of which ones need to be placed wherever you are automatically. So there you go. I hope like you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time. Bye for now.